fuck I'm saying this shit. What's your name? <laughs> hey, if I'm had shit right here, if we ain't, come on, man, we come on. Man, we ready. Yeah, I'm trying to hit that weed, man. Like right? like, I'm trying to hit that weed right there. Like, mm -hmm. Bro, stop beefing. You got shit going on. You gonna walk over this chair. I'm gonna walk over there. I'm gonna take it real. Three hours. Go to the J, bro. All right, chill with bitch ass. All right, you ready? Whenever you ready, bro. Hey, it's Lil' Long Rock with Taco Talks TV, man. Taco Talks TV. There's my cool. Taco Talks TV. Taco Talks TV. Taco Talks TV. Young Jose. Rest in peace to swiping YC. Taco Talks TV. Taco Talks TV. What you, uh, that's another thing I was gonna say. What you think about everybody, like every rapper coming up with a label? Behind how they, you know what I'm saying, behind their name, you think the streets gonna be too flooded with too many labels? Probably. Who knows? Or you think it's, I think, I don't know, I think it's gonna be too flooded, but at the same time, I feel like maybe, maybe it's gonna be that many artists for that many people to sign. You know what I'm saying? People gonna probably wanna sign with their favorite rapper type of shit. You want that type of time? Probably. You'll sign with your favorite rapper or you gonna be the label? You say like my rap my favorite rapper? Like yeah. right now? Yeah. Would you sign to him? Who is it? Food, I was gonna have my favorite rapper. I just listen to music. Man. Respect. Respect who you listening to. If your shit Nah, if Gucci, I signed to Gucci, though. Okay. I signed to Gucci. Respect. Respect. What what made Gucci the one that you just oh yeah? Cause bro, he got the right crowd around him, bro. Okay. Got the right crowd. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to get a mix with them. Yeah. Okay. You think? You think it's important for music to be timeless, or you think you gotta take what you got right now? Gotta take what you got right now. Respect. Respect. Why you feel like that? You don't feel like you can make no timeless shit. I think tribulations. Maybe a couple other joints. I think you got like some, a couple times, you know what I'm saying? Because I be thinking about when me and you like 40, I still be cranking a little low, baby, you know what I'm saying? Hey, whatever new niggas is out, I'm not trying to hit none of that. <laughs> what your kids listening to, I'm not trying to hit none of that shit. Niggas probably by their own label, but they ain't, yeah. ain't going to be rapping no more. Yeah, cool. Cool. Respect. Um, what is it like creating relationships with, with rappers you never met before? You know what I'm saying? For the first time. Like we seen you work with uh Tuski, probably Q, you know what I'm saying, probably whatever other rappers you you got in the cut. What's it like working with them though? Like for the first time you meet them. That should be cool. Is it um cause some relationship you see there last longer, you know what I'm saying? Last past the feature. Is it that just depends on the nigga? Or depend on how they cranking. It depends on how they cranking. Respect. But now my relationship with me, that should be going out of the future. That should yeah. be cool. Now I'm yeah. going in. I don't know if now. Yeah. If a nigga call me, tell him to call him, or call him, but I ain't gonna blow the phone out. But how you make sure them relationships, you know what I'm saying, still strong? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you don't talk to some people. You don't talk to them for months, years. You ain't hit them tomorrow. It seems like you talked to them yesterday. Nah, you know they can rap niggas still. We yeah. like they be on the ground. So. Yeah, kill, you know kill, kill, kill. You always did. Respect. Calling and posting, some reposting and yeah, shit. Yeah, so yeah. Now you know I'm yeah. still fucking with them. Yeah, yeah, kill. <laughs> um, what's your thoughts on the on the on the pandemic, COVID? Fuck that shit. <laughs> Fuck my life. Real life. Fuck cool. What would you be doing 2020 with no code? Bro, I'd have been doing shows right now. It would have fucked my life up. Yeah. I'd have been, probably been in a show today right now. We'd yeah, probably right. been right here in the same spot. Yeah, Get right. ready for a show. Yeah, right now, yeah. Seven o'clock. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> that shit real fuck my whole enemy. I'm going to be back there. Don't worry about yeah. how long? How long you think this shit going to last? Yeah, not forever. Not forever, that's for sure. That's for sure. What, um... What about the police brutality? How that shit makes you feel? Respect. 
anything. You, hey, look, somebody told me the other day, right? I'm like, you seen the clip? It was a uh, nigga shooting back at 12. Mm -hmm. I seen that shit. I said, and and they said the, injured, the, the officers got injured. I'm like, hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? That shit. Dang. You locked up? I don't know. I ain't see. I wasn't really listening. I just saw the nigga shooting back in front of the car. All I heard was three officers injured. I'm like, okay, yeah, hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? And somebody told me, they're like, damn, that's how you feel for real? I'm like, yeah, for real. Like, them people get to kill us and get away with that shit. They like, yeah, for you. But they said, <laughs> they said, uh, they said, nah, that's fucked up, though. We need to focus on black people killing black people. What you think about that? Focus on. Damn, bro. That shit ain't gonna never stop, bro. Why you, why you think so? Because look, I was saying, I said, I said that it's happening because of the lack of resources we got. You know what I'm saying? Compared to other communities, other races and shit, they on a whole different type of time. They, you know what I'm saying? They not trying to tell each other apart. But if you got something, niggas try to come fuck with you and you say no, now we mad at you, you know what I'm saying? Trying to come take away yours. No thoughts, comments. Respect. You don't think that shit gonna stop though? Fuck no. What about what about the violence in the city? The kids die. I don't respect that shit. Yeah. Think niggas need to work on their aim or just put a gun down. Can't tell it never never dang, you can't tell it never man what to do. Kill. Yeah, it is life. Yeah, I definitely feel that. I definitely feel that. You been to any of the protests? Nah. Respect. What you got upcoming for the rest of 2020? You got another tape on the way? Another album? Yeah, I got a sneaky job. I'm gonna tell you when you cut the camera off, okay. they can't know you. Okay, okay, I respect, sneaky, respect. Ain't you, know you got, oh, oh, okay, no date, no time. This is a surprise. It's a surprise. Okay, respect. Make sure y'all more about to stay tuned for that. You know what I'm saying? Um, what's some of your favorite songs so far? Over, over tape. Any tape. All the tapes. Uh, Damn, no world. Nah, back and better. Okay. My favorite song. Ooh. Kidding me. The edge rock. That fucking. The jump feed me and Goo Blizzy. Okay. What's that? Is that uh my life? Nah, that's on another tip. Okay. I mm -hmm. fuck with that joint. Like, I fuck with that joint like how I fuck with tribulations and then you got intro on another tip. That crank. I don't know if it's back on the back of the See, Tribulations. My favorite song on there is Hood Act. Okay. That shit real different. I gotta play it again. That shit real different. That's my favorite song. It was your favorite making it or your favorite listening favorite to it? Favorite making it. Like, as soon as I wrote the jump that night, I went to the studio the next morning. I was geeking. I had to make that jump. Okay. I had to make that jump. Okay. I was not playing for that jump. Yes. I went to the studio tomorrow. You probably will make this shit. And I really went to the studio and made that one song. Mm -hmm. no. Respect. What type of beats you like? You like slow mm -hmm. shit? You like trap shit? You like all that shit, bro. Bang that shit. You gonna rap on any type of beat? Any type of beat. You know who Beethoven is? Nah. The nigga who was playing the piano. Oh. Uh, you can prank on one of them. Yeah. We <laughs> had shit. Yeah, we had that guy had shit. I'ma just curtain. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. What was that shit? You be cranking sober or everything? Yeah. Nah, well, I'm sure we that shit too. Okay. But I'm happy to be locked in. Yeah, it's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that. I feel that. These niggas pulling up with all these bags. It's a lot of, a lot of pressure in these bags or a lot of huff in these bags. That shit is poop. Garbage. Yeah, it's two. Yeah, two. Yeah. A lot of niggas not having the one like they say they are. Nah, they not. I feel that. I feel that. Man, let's hop into the five round of questions real quick, man. The first one, if you seen $100,000 in the bowl of a porta potty, would you grab that shit? In the porta potty? Yeah, like yeah. In, the, in the shitter. That shit touching the shit, is it? Yeah, it covered in shit. But you know it's 100 bands in there. You gonna grab it? Bro. <laughs> Fuck, man, I'm gonna have to pass, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pass, bro. Wait, ain't, wait, ain't that much money in the world, bro. bro. Nah, it ain't in the bag, it's just rubber bag. It <laughs> hey, if it was in the bag, you ain't not yeah. washing that up. Off the rip. What you uh 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 what amount of money will make you reach in there and grab that shit? Bro, nothing. That ain't a million dollars, bro. I ain't put my hand in that shit. 
What if it was? Trip, if it's in a bag, of course I'm gonna grab that nah, shit. Nah, that's too easy. Ah, fuck that. It's still in the four packs. That's too easy. Yeah, that's too easy. You good? You know what I'm saying? I'm nah, talking. all that shit, all that money not gonna be on it, but it's gonna be some money on top, bro. Then yeah, the bread in the middle probably don't be <laughs> all cover that shit for real. You know what I'm saying? Oh, rubber band it up. Hundred dollars, god. Man. Second random question: What was you doing three hours ago? Rapping. Rapping. What's the strangest place somebody recognized you? Someone was like, "Oh, that's little bro." Hey, bro, I'm glow, bro. That's crazy, bro. I'm real at a hundred house. <laughs>